Hi there, I'm Sherry, and in this video, I'm giving you an overview of the dining options on the new Viking Saturn Ocean Ship, and my honest review about the food that I tasted while I was on that sailing. Stick around until the end for a great tip about how I utilize room service to my advantage during this trip as well. If you drop by for specific restaurants, I've created chapters so you can jump around to the ones that you want to see. Now, I'm just getting started with YouTube, so I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for more travel and cruise reviews. And I think I'll also be trying some car camping this summer too. So stay tuned for those adventures and misadventures. The Viking has four types of ships, Ocean, River, Expedition, and Mississippi. But in this recap, I'm only talking about the dining options on their ocean ships. If you want details about what Viking includes and doesn't include on their ocean sailings, then please watch my other video about the new Viking Saturn. If you don't see it yet, then those who have subscribed will be notified as soon as it's ready. All Viking Ocean ships are identical, and I found this really comforting as this trip was my second ocean cruise with Viking, and I knew what to expect before even leaving home. Now, after boarding and my short safety briefing, I really couldn't wait to go directly to Mampson's on Deck 7 for their famous Norwegian waffles that I've been craving since my last sailing a few years ago. Now, there's fresh berries, whipped cream, and that special brown goat cheese on it. It's so delicious. Now let's start with deck one for light food and snack options, we have the bar. The bar has a clinker built bar that was inspired by the ancient long ships and offers a variety of cookies, muffins and sandwiches and desserts. In the heart of the ship, the bar is part of the living room, which is a great space to relax in with an afternoon coffee, a pre-dinner cocktail, and you can also enjoy live music or select books from the public book exchange area and just curl up and read or visit with new friends. Next, we'll look at a fan favorite, which is the chef's table. And we'll also talk about the kitchen table. At the chef's table, Viking offers a five course meal paired with wines, and this menu rotates every two or three days. If you miss a menu that you want to taste, then chances are that you can reserve the same menu, but at a later date. I didn't dine here because of my food allergies and the days that I was available and checked the menus, they were Asian inspired, which weren't an option for me, but good thing that there are other great restaurants to choose from. Now, I did speak to other people during the sailing who dined at the chef's table and they raved about how amazing the food was and what a great experience they had. Now, if you want a fully immersive experience, then you'll love the kitchen table. Along with Vikings world-class chefs, you'll shop in local markets for the food. Then you will choose the ingredients, learn how to prepare, cook, and plate local dishes. And then you get to sit down for a private dinner and eat what you've created. You have to be quick to make reservations here. I missed out, so it's something to look forward to for next time. And I will make sure that I book it ahead of time. This next restaurant is my favorite on the ship, so I ate there more than once. Manfredi's Italian Restaurant. If you know anything about me at all, you know that I love Italian food, so it's obviously a no-brainer that Manfredi's is my favorite restaurant on the ship. I could have dined here more often, but I wanted to try some of the other restaurants as well. Now, I dined in the private dining room twice with a group of new friends, and it was a great place to have conversations without the background noise of a busy restaurant. We had our own waiter who did a fabulous job managing all of us with a big smile on his face, and he must really enjoy his job because he did a fantastic job at it. Now, let's take a look at some of my favorite dishes from Manfredi's. I don't speak Italian, so I'm going with the English versions of the names of these dishes. And I think I'm going to sign up for Babbel and learn some Italian before my next trip to overseas. If you want to join me on this learning adventure, check the description below for a link. We started out each meal with a variety of breads, then appetizers, mains, and desserts. 
And the first dish that we'll take a look at is fried calamari. And it has crispy parsley and garlic lemon aioli with it. This was so delicious. And if I didn't know that I had more food coming, I would have ordered another, another one. So next we have the caprese salad with buffalo mozzarella, vine ripened tomatoes, basil, and olive oil. And the tomatoes were so flavorful and they tasted like they had just been picked minutes before. It was amazing. Next is fried dumplings, which is a warm fried dough with lardo, gorgonzola, and prosciutto. And as you can see, I love seafood, so it's no surprise that I ordered another seafood dish of a selection of grilled fish and seafood. If you're not drooling already, then maybe this will help. Homemade pasta filled with bolognese, parmigiana, ricotta, and thyme with a porcini mushroom jus. Now, just to be clear, I didn't eat all of these dishes in one meal. It was over multiple dinners. Next, we have chicken parmesan. The chicken was lightly breaded and topped with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese and some fresh peppery arugula. There's a nice selection of desserts for those with a sweet tooth. I opted for the ice creams and sorbets with a variety of flavor options. Mm. I just noticed limoncello in the menu. I hadn't tried it before. I spent some time in Italy last year and tried limoncello for the first time. And it's now a favorite of mine up there with Aperol Spritz. The menus in all of the Viking restaurants are clearly marked, which is vegetarian and gluten-free. And if you have other requests like I do, they do their best to accommodate all dietary needs. Other options for appetizers in Manfredi's are tuna, carpaccio, and grilled eggplant. They offer two soups, zuppa alla Toscana, which is cabbage with rustic bread, pancetta and anchovy oil, and zuppa del casale, which is rustic farmer-style farro and bean soup with fresh herbs. More pasta options are linguine and shrimp, pasta with potatoes, green beans, and pesto, and spaghetti carbonara or bolognese. And I had the bolognese for room service, so you can check that out in that section. Gorgonzola risotto with fresh shaved truffles, and potato gnocchi with mozzarella sauce. There's also a chef's pasta special and fish special to ask your waiter about. Now, main course has other delicious options to choose from as well. Neapolitan mussel soup, which is mussels, octopus, clams, chili peppers, and parsley. And then there's pork rib, which is herb roasted black pork chop with portini mushroom sauce and zucchini. And steak, thick cut ribeye coated in garlic oil rubbed with porcini mushroom powder, kosher salt, brown sugar, and red chili flakes, and beef short ribs with polenta. polenta. And you can also order sides such as fennel salad, roasted potatoes, broccoli, and grilled seasonal vegetables. Next, let's head up to deck two and check out the restaurant. The restaurant is the main dining venue on the ship, and it's as large as combining all three restaurants directly below it, Manfredi's chef's table and kitchen table. At dinner time, it's quite busy, so I should have reserved a table, but I never seem to have a problem being seated um, within a few minutes of, of arriving. But if you're traveling in a large group or even more than two people, then I do recommend reserving a table. The menu has an always available section and the rest of it changes daily and offers many dishes from regional cuisine as well as dishes, like I said, that are always available and cooked with locally sourced ingredients. Now let's take a look at some of my favorite dishes from the restaurant. The Angus New York strip steak was from their always available menu and was grilled to order. I chose Parmesan truffle fries and Caesar salad with anchovies as my sides. And you can choose from steamed vegetables, green beans, a baked potato, mashed potatoes, creamed spinach or rice pilaf. The starter options are Caesar salad or tiger prawns, but if you want both, I'm sure they would accommodate you. Other main courses include poached salmon and roasted free-range chicken. Now, dessert options include creme brulee, New York cheesecake with berries, and cheese and crackers on a baguette or fresh fruit plate, 
ice cream, or sorbet. Our server also suggested some great wines, and the two this evening that I dined were from California. From the regional menu this evening, I chose the three onion soup. I love a good French onion soup, and on Vikings, three onion soup with provolone and gruyere cheeses is delicious. It wasn't on the always available menu, so I'm glad I was at the restaurant on the night that they were serving it. To give you an idea of the variety of dishes served in the restaurant, other starter options included roast beets, duck foie gras, escargot, and pheasant consomme. Main course options included boar sausage ragu, Chinese wine marinated scallops and shrimp, lamb shank, and beef wellington. Specialty desserts for that evening were citrus whipped ganache with lemon jelly and chocolate soil, a maple pecan bread and butter pudding, and a panna cotta with strawberries. Also in the menu is a section with vegetarian highlights, such as hearts of Boston lettuce with candied walnuts, gorgonzola cheese, and fig balsamic dressing, a grilled vegetable lasagna, and an apple crumble. Next, let's head up to deck seven for more of my favorite dining options. The pool grill is a great casual dining area with a limited menu of grilled options, such as burgers and hot dogs all made to order. Plus there's a small salad buffet for a lighter meal if you prefer that. My go-to was a Pancho Villa Burger or Villa Burger with extra hot sauce on the side. This is a Black Angus beef patty with arugula, blue cheese, guacamole, spicy habanero mayo. By day two of lunching at the pool grill, the chef knew that I would be asking for extra hot sauce and he had a bottle waiting for me. Other menu items consist of the Viking Burger, which I had for room service, so you can see that in the room service section. Ultimate Eggs Burger with a beef patty, fried eggs, applewood smoked bacon, double American cheese, and sweet chili aioli, a grilled plant-based burger, which is an impossible burger with roasted bell pepper, avocado, pickled radish, and horseradish, and a cheesesteak sandwich, which is steak on a hoagie roll, provolone, grilled onion, sauteed peppers with fries, classic drive-in hot dog with mustard ketchup, relish, and onion rings, seared ahi tuna with arugula salad and Asian chicken wings with sweet chili sauce. Now, traveling solo is a great way to meet new people and at the pool grill was a favorite place to do that. Enjoy a casual lunch with new friends and enjoy a drink in the sunshine with the roof open above the pool. It's so amazing and they also use this area sometimes to show movies in the evenings and on a good night with the roof open and watching a movie under the stars. That is so amazing. Next, we'll head to Manson's in the Explorer's Lounge, walking through the Winter Garden. I love spending time in this area of the ship under the wooden trellis. Winter Garden is inspired by the Tree of Life in Norse mythology. Most of the time, this area is empty and quiet and the perfect place to curl up with a book and a drink. And just walking through here, I can feel the silence when the doors close behind me. It's almost like I'm sealed in a room in a vacuum. And each day you can come here and find afternoon tea. So don't miss out on this and book it ahead of time. And your tea steward will also educate you on the proper tea etiquette and what uh, flavors and little snacks you have. The Explorer's Lounge is a great place with fabulous views to kick back and relax, enjoy a drink with friends or make new friends while listening to great music. Here you can find a bar called Paps and also taste delicious Scandinavian food at Mamsen's, which is named after Torsten Hagen's mother. One of my favorite dishes and one I've been waiting for since my last Viking Ocean Cruise is the Norwegian waffles with brown Norwegian goat cheese and berries and whipped cream. I've also heard that their pea soup is amazing and a great midnight snack, but if I wasn't allergic to it, I'd be all over it. They also have a good selection of cold open sandwiches, daily soups and pastries. The World Cafe is a buffet style restaurant with cooks available for made to order dishes. I didn't discover until my second to last night that the food is not the same on both sides. Don't do what I did and explore both sides of the buffet to discover pizza and ice cream stations and some other surprises. 
So there are so many choices for all meals. For example, at breakfast, you can find a scrambled eggs, made to order omelets, eggs benedict, fresh smoked salmon, that was so delicious, uh, French toast, pancakes, a wide variety of cheeses and cold meats, bread, oatmeal, yogurt, and fresh fruit, and so much more. There are buffet options, or you can also order from a menu, or you can do both. They also have a continental breakfast at the Aquavit Terrace, but I chose items from the buffet, and then I went and sat outside on the terrace. The chefs or cooks were fantastic and ready to answer any questions I had about the ingredients as well. And they were also continually replenishing the hot dishes. So they were always fresh and the server always had smiles on their faces and were super friendly. They seemed like they really loved their jobs and apparently Viking has a 90% return rate on staff. And that says a lot about the company. My excursions usually ended just before lunch, so sometimes I joined new friends each day in the World Cafe to continue our conversations from the tours. And the World Cafe has open seating, and no matter where I sat, I found that the servers got to know each guest really quickly and what our favorite drinks were, and had genuine conversations, which made for a very pleasant experience. Now let's talk about room service. 24 hour room service, need I say more? There's a limited menu of Viking's signature dishes that are available for delivery right to my room. Some days I was tired from a busy morning tour and I just wanted to recharge in my suite, so I ordered lunch in. On one excursion I tripped and I injured myself, so after the ship's doctor instructed me to ice my leg, I was pleasantly surprised to find a bucket of ice and a Ziploc baggie in my suite each time I returned from my tours for the rest of the cruise. One afternoon, I also ordered sparkling water to my suite. And after that, my room steward placed a bottle of sparkling water in my suite every single day. It was much appreciated and I felt very spoiled. My suite also had a fully stocked mini fridge and an espresso coffee maker which I thoroughly enjoyed the coffee maker. I didn't really look at the fridge much, but the coffee maker was wonderful. So I, now let's talk about the dishes. I had a Viking burger, which is a black Angus beef cheddar cheese, red onion, marmalade, bacon, barbecue sauce, Caesar salad with anchovies and spaghetti bolognese. Now for my big tip, experienced cruisers, you may already do this, but for me, it was an aha kind of moment. I'm usually exhausted the mornings of day two and day three, still adjusting to jet lag. So I ordered room service for breakfast every morning that I had an early excursion. They usually arrive 15 to 20 minutes before the time that I'd requested on my room service card which is fine, but if you're like me and sleep through three alarms when you're jet lagged, this is the perfect alarm clock. They will knock on the door, and if you don't answer, they will knock again louder, and it keeps getting louder until you answer that door. I didn't miss any excursions at all on this trip. Thank you so much for joining me on this overview of the food on the Viking Saturn Ocean Ship. I hope you enjoyed discovering the delicious dishes and great dining experiences on board this incredible cruise. If you're sailing, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear where you're going. And if you found this video informative and helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications and share it with your fellow foodies and travel lovers. Until next time, happy eating and safe travels.